Poke 646. Alien invasion? Extraterrestri extraterrestrial life forms sighted in National City. Fuck. Fucked it up. Ah. Extraterrestrial. How did I fuck that up? Nation City. Industrial District. 3.42 p.m. 13 months after something something something. How do they expect anybody to be able to read that? In the amount of time they give you. The Black Mesa Research Facility has been shut down. The nation never got to know anything about the experiments there. The less you know, the less you worry. Okay. This is some men in black crap. The government founded a new organization to handle alien related topics. They hired the best scientists, technicians, and military forces worldwide. Its name, Poke 646. Some days ago, the Poke 646 scientists spotted alarming signals from the Zen homeworld. It looked as if the aliens planned to invade National City by opening a massive amount of portals. Okay, the aliens are actually... I can't talk, uh, but the Poke 646 technical labs already prepared some months ago. Technicians developed a huge generator which was able to close hundreds of portals at once with something, 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 something. Four generators are about to be installed at the edge of National City. With all four activated, they will form a giant beam, hopefully destroying the alien portal technology forever. Okay, this is a very different take on what happened after Half-Life 1. Damien Reeves, the technical assistant of Dr. Fuller, doesn't know all these details. He is currently worrying about where the hell he lost his car keys when suddenly... <laughs> suddenly he ate shit. Um... Three hours later? We're up now. Oh, we only lost a little blood. Minor concussion. It's fine. It still work good. Don't worry, me fine good. Brain function good. Scientist man do thing now. Try not to Where are people? <laughs> I really want to go in this direction with this. I'm not sure. I think this might get old rather quick. Um. Oh, I gotta use the computer thing. From Dr. Sebastian Fuller to Damien Reeves. Hello Damien, back in our HQ we noticed that you must have for Noticed we must have forgotten you while evacuating the whole city some hours ago. Our mission failed, the alien forces did something something, I guess I'll never know. It is too dangerous to send troops into the city again, so you're on your own. Your only chance to get out alive is to activate all four generators and defeat the alien breed. Oh, not too difficult, right? I can do that, I'll be fine. It's not above my pay grade at all. I'm truly sorry that things turned out this way, but you are only hope to strike back at Zen and, well, save the human race. Good luck. Yeah, thanks, I'll need it. I'll stay in contact with you from HQ. That's... yeah. Hmm. It's not too difficult of a task, you know. The soldiers said they couldn't do it, but I- we have complete faith in you, Damien. Don't worry, you'll- you'll do it. Heard about this one dude that did it, you can do it as well. We thought Black Mesa was shitty with their health and safety protocols. It's not their fault that that ha Well, I guess it's actually, yeah, no, it is kind of their fault. <laughs> it's not their fault they left me behind in a fucking storage closet. No, yeah, it is. It's completely their fault. Fucking, I'm suing the shit out of poke after this, that's for sure. Um. Oh, that's what I was missing. So I'm just having real fun with the pew sound effect. You signed your rights away to sue already. Oh yeah, when I when I signed up, that was that was part of the agreement I had to sign to get fucking health care after the radiation. <laughs> Shit, forgot about that. Well, bam, and there we go. Escape the first room through the vent in here, and there we go. Uh, and now I need a save the world. Right. Step one, get out of room. Step two, save world. It's that simple. It's that simple, guys. Whoa! Hello, sir. Um. Whoop! Haha, <laughs> you fucked up. Yeah. And now I get down here. And now I can, um, uh, um, um, um pipe. Yes. Okay, here we go. Got a pipe. Got out of that first room. Nothing can stop me now. Okay, so Damien's got the fucking weight of the world on his shoulders, huh? Don't worry, Damien, if you fuck up, it's only the whole world that will suffer and die horribly. 
No pressure. No pressure. And I'm back. Okay. Wait, we're back in the same room. Okay. We're back on step one. Shit. Oh, and now the power's on, so now I can turn this on. There we go. Okay, so if I succeed, what do I get here? I, I have to get like a pay raise for sure, right? It's worth it. It's worth risking my life. Just think about what I could do with that extra three dollars an hour. Oh, you know. Something, maybe. Nothing set in stone, but... Man can dream. Of slightly more money. For risking his life. Oh! Fuck off, what gone. Ow. Oh, I'm so dead. No, I'm not. Because you ran towards me for some reason. There we go. Fifteen dollars an hour is a lot in the US. I know. And for the low, low price of risking your life and limb. To try and save the world. Oh, got a nail gun? Okay. Interesting, interesting. Damien's gonna save the world with a nail gun and a rusty bit of pipe. Damien, I'm gonna be real with you here. I don't like your chances of being the savior of the universe. You're about as well equipped as a local plumber. It's, uh... No, whatever. You know what, if, if a local plumber can can save the princess and free the mushroom kingdom, then you can save the world, buddy. You, you do you. You get that three dollar raise. Hmm. I don't want to go down there, because I know there's going to be an ambush. Is there any way around that? Oh, well, fuck me. No, we okay. Fight time. Where are you guys? I see you. Okay. Nail gun. Surprisingly effective. Or alternatively, the uh, 9mm in Black Mace is just fucking pathetically bad. Oh. Oh, hey -oh. oh, no. Oh, yeah, yeah. Fucking head crab. Teaming up. Taking down the big bad. Nice. It's a David versus Goliath situation right there. You go, head crap. You go. Straight to hell. Bastard. Oh! And don't worry, head crab, because I'll be following you shortly. Okay, we're back. Right, and now we're going to use a nail gun to uh, kill Vortigons. This is... <laughs> Damien is so ill-equipped for the task at hand. Poor Damien. Poor Damien. Literally, literally tasked with saving the world. While concussed. What a shitty day. Oh, we're setting these things up. Everything's going great. I got this job. I have job security. I'm working for the government. And this is great. And oh shit, I just got hit in the head. Oh no. Oh hey Damien. Hey, how's it going? We're left without you and you have to save the world now. Good luck. Um, here's a nail gun and a bit of pipe. No pressure. Just a couple of million lives riding on your, uh, successful completion of this task. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh my. What the fuck? Oh. <laughs> really gangster, Damien. Real gangster. You're so cool, man. Yeah, you're like one of those hip inner city gangsters. Doing a drive-by with your fucking nail gun. Um, let's go down here first. What's down here? Red. Ah, head crab. Seriously, head crab? Seriously. I really didn't need that, dude. Okay. Ah! These fucking head crabs. These fucking head crabs. They're not in bad spots. I'm gonna be real with you. They're in the type of spots that they're really fucking infuriating. Oh, it's talking about infuriating. Back up here. Back through here. On the bridge. Where are you guys? Hey guys. Yeah, you're all dead. Not if I miss. Stop moving. Moving makes it hard to shoot you. If you could all just stand still, that'd be greatly appreciated. Alright, we're in here now, and that's a bull squid. 
Okay, I guess we go up here. Or over the other side, because we'll stay the fuck away from that bull squid. Um, box. Whee. Uh. Why would I do that? Why did I do that? Okay. Hmm. Do I... Is this breakable? Oh, it is. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Chat, I may have made whoopsies here. Okay, here we go. So just gonna... Oh, bam. And, hmm, hmm, I wonder how I... wonder how I solve this puzzle. Oh, look at that. That's how I do it. Ha <laughs> ha. Of course. Ha. <laughs> uh, figured that out quickly. Well, that was... that was smart. I'm glad I didn't eat that off the edge and... Oh, hello. Okay, come over here. Come on. He's actually running further away. Okay, new plan. You bitch! Yes, there we go. Fuck yeah. I win. I win. Oh, what? You spawned another one. You spawned... Oh. Okay, just please die. Please. Please, for love of God, die. Thank you. Okay, well, we did it. With six health and two ammo. Not sweating in the slightest. Okay, goodbye. Oh, yes, yes, please. Please have, like, a full health cat. Anything in the trash? Nope. Just trash. Fucking... God damn it. Why isn't there something good in the trash? Who puts trash in the trash? Fucking weirdos. Okay. I really hope we find ammo soon, because I'm... You, ow! What? What? Oh! Right there, that was kind of out of nowhere. Thanks. Um, let's do that again. What happened there, exactly? I climb up the ladder. The ladder just decides, no, fuck you. Fuck you, Jolly, you can't climb up me. I didn't consent, and then the Vortigon spawns in. That's a logical series of events. Oh, and, 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 and a hound eye. And they fight each other. And now they just stand here, thinking, don't we look cool? And then they die. Yeah, right, okay. That was a bit of a fuck you, wasn't it? <laughs> Didn't really tell a guy off that. Ah, oh, shit. He's moonwalking towards me. I am afraid. And for the first time, Damien was afraid. He was scared. How is he supposed to complete this mission all alone? How is he supposed to fight off this alien invasion when ladders spontaneously combust and he runs out of ammo because he used it all on fucking stupid things and started playing Ring Around the Rosie with a fucking Vortigaunt for some reason. Instead of just fucking whacking him. <laughs> Bad. Stop that. <laughs> Bad dog. Bad dog. No lightning. Bad lightning dog. Ow. Oh. Fuck. Well, time to do this all again. <sighs> Move the barrels. Put the barrels underneath the ladder? There's no way that's gonna work. I do have a plan though. I do have an plan. Now, this may be a stupid plan, but... <laughs> look, look. The underpinnings of what I was doing there was solid. Unfortunately, I made a huge miscalculation. I never claimed to be good at maths. Right, so what I was trying to do there was I was trying to, like, loosen up the barrel. I was trying to, like, you know, like, how you loosen up the top of a jar so it can just, like, pop off? But apparently all I need is one nail gun shot. So just... there we go. He's in. He's down. Take out him. And that should have got both of them. It did. Bam, there we go. My plan fucking worked. I am a genius. I say, as I blew myself up literally moments ago. <laughs> by fucking hitting a goddamn explosive barrel. Jolly room temperature IQ, yeah. 
yeah, you say that, but then I go do other stuff that's really good and stuff, and then people are like, maybe he's just stupid most of the time. Jelly doesn't really look like a guy with a plan. I may not look like one, but I am one. It's just usually my plans are shit. Okay, come back over here, please. Come on. Yes, turn back around. Good, good, good. Oh, yeah. Really? Okay, Barnacle. You're a pig eater, are you? Getting rid of all that fucking head crab meat. It's bad for me. I have an intolerance. Okay, dude. Go fuck yourself. Why are you black? I mean, it's like, as in texture-wise. The lighting here is a bit strange. Why are you black? Jolly 2021. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit. We're fine. You know what I meant, you fuckers. Yikes. Ah, oh, yes. Yes, okay. Okay. 2021, the year Jolly gets cancelled. For insulting headcrabs. Really active on Twitter from what I've heard. Bonk. 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 Really riveting gameplay right here. Really, uh, shows the best Half-Life 1 has to offer. Makes for an engaging stream. Oh, incoming I cup message. Not I cup. I U I C. That doesn't really roll off the tongue. But neither does Poke 646. So really, you know. Poor naming choices all around. Dr. Sebastian Fuller to Damien Reeves. Damien, I'm glad you're still alive. Even better that you've managed to enable the first generator. But the alien activity on our screens is still very high, so you shouldn't waste any time. Head over to something, something, something. The second generator is located in a prohibited area owned by... Nation City Sewer Authority. I'm afraid the only way to get there right now is through the sewers. You'll find another IU in the NASA something something. There's no way I'm supposed to be able to read this. P.S. I just noticed that you must be near one of our tech vans. You should take a look around inside the crates. Maybe you'll find some weaponry in there. Nailed that one. I did it in a sultry, smooth tone. Okay, I need health. Please. For the love of God. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, hey! Cool, good. <laughs> Oh good, Damien's slightly, slightly more equipped for the job now. He doesn't just have a normal nail gun, he has a slightly faster firing nail gun. <laughs> now I can save the world. <laughs> really? Fucking really? Couldn't these guys, these guys are a fucking government agency. Just do a fucking flyby. Get a fucking... Transport plane to drop me some equipment. For the love of God. Oh no, sorry. Technically, we're not part of the military, so, you know, we can't really afford that, Damien. So, uh, you know, you're on your own. Plus, we don't actually think you'll complete this mission. We've kind of got bets on how long you'll last. I give it an hour or two. Uh, so, uh, if you could just die quickly. Um, I need that $20. Ah! Seriously, seriously, I'm about to fight a fucking alien grunt with a goddamn nail gun. If the alien invasion can be stopped by one man with an automatic nail gun, then Zen really needs to reevaluate how it's running its military. Okay, where are you? There you are. Um, excuse me, sir? What are you doing to that corpse? Stop that. We do not appreciate that on Earth. Oh no, it's one of the Poke 643 employees. Did I say 643? Ah, oh, fuck it. Numbers are hard. You okay, buddy? No, you're not okay. You're dead. Don't worry. I won't defile your corpse like that other person did. You know what? I'll make sure nobody can defile your corpse. There you go. There you go. Fix the problem. Nobody can defile your corpse if your corpse no longer exists. Respectfully exploded his corpse. He was hungry. Yeah, well, when I'm hungry, I don't just walk down a back alley, fucking club a hobo over the head and start digging in. I have enough self-control not to do that. Chapter 2, The Sewers. Right. Oh, hello, dude. 
Oh, I'm ahead here. He was an employee, not a hobo. Potato, potato. I mean, look, the fucking main protagonist isn't even being given weaponry by Poke 646. He's literally just like, oh fuck, I found a nail gun. Found a nail gun in the trash. Oh fuck, I'll use that. Fuck it, a bit of pipe that I found? That'll do. That'll do. I'll be able to hit some people with that and. Oh shit, one second, I've got to raid this vending machine for soda right here. The difference between a Poke 646 employee and a hobo is minimal.